Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Open TTD. Last we left off, we uh, filled in the station over here with a few trains. Uh, to start, we will get a goods train in here to start moving all these crates of goods around. Because at the moment, we're only moving the goods from uh, this factory to the town. But we want to move these crates as well. So let's start and buy a new vehicle. We do have access to this manly moral diesel locomotive, which is actually a dual locomotive, one on the front and one on the end. Normally it's uh, only fitted for passengers, but we could refit it for goods. But the catch is, even though it's a diesel train instead of steam, it has a thousand horsepower less than the best steam engine available at the moment. So we're just going to buy a steam engine for now till we have uh, some better trains. We'll fit it with some good vents and fill it up to four and send it to Masmon Transfer to Dobbin Ram. Fully load any cargo and unload everything over here while well, not loading anything on the way there. All right, now to accommodate this train better, we will uh, plus from level four, we will add another platform on this station because there will be now four or five trains going in and out. So. It's just a necessity at this point. Uh, for one moment, let's turn all of this transparent. There we go. No, not that one, that one. To put in the signals, making sure they're the right way. Yes, they are. Now I fear that just having one good strain won't be enough, so I'll immediately clone this train and put in another one over here so we'll have full coverage there we go so we hooked up uh, two more trains from here to there with goods now the next project i want to I want to do is set up a line going here to mass mont and extending uh, this little line now let's just uh, go straight uh, and for one second hold off on making these so that no trains can actually go in here before we put in the signals we want them to come out over here Let's put in a, a little loop at the end, or no, that won't be necessary. Uh, we're going to use this new line for quite a specific purpose. We're going to set up, using the, our new diesel locomotive, a few little passenger lines. Just from uh, our main hub over here, our big town, to the little towns in the area. So we have some uh, additional passenger coverage. Let's put in some signals over here. I hope trains won't be using them at all at the moment. Now we want platform length of one. Let's just put in uh, one right over here. Just one little station, have it come here, and for good measure let's make sure trains can pass each other, like, no this won't work, for one second uh, back off, and yes like this. Needing to delete this signal so we won't get any blockages and 
get one away signal here and one over here. I mean like this, yes. Now this should work as a little passing point so we won't get a backup in the line. And now let's add a little station over here that will serve as our passenger hub of some kind. Just add it next to the station here. Make sure both are available. Or let's just mirror the station next to it actually. Because that's a proven design. Put in some little signals. And I think we can either we can either connect this up over here or over here. It should work better if you were just to connect it up to the main line immediately. Even though that means, you know what, to alleviate, alleviate any extra stress on the system, I'll make a little tunnel over here for the going in road. Even though our poor little diesel locomotive aren't that well suited. Uh, I made an oopsie. Flatten this out. And there we go. Should work. It will be our in line. And these are out. There we go. Now at least it won't block uh, our main cargo line. And of course we still have to put in a way station to make sure that our... Uh, this isn't right. Turn this around to make sure that our uh, Passenger trains take this station instead of the big one. A new vehicle, a Manly Moore DMU diesel locomotive will buy it and put in two more carriages. Make it go to Masmont station and then make it go first to the waypoint and then to the station. There we go immediately make it go no let's wait up something is fishy why is it not going to uh, the station we wanted to There we go, seems to be working fine. Can it cope with the hill though? Ooh, it has a hard time coming up that little ramp. But the little engine that can. Will immediately leave. The first service from Mazmont Coal. Ooh. 
We will get a subsidy if we hook this up. We'll do that later. Let's first uh, put in a second little passenger run at our headquarters because our headquarters actually accepts uh, passengers. So we'll be ferrying passengers to our headquarters. Let's just put in a very small little station, squeeze it in. Could go over here. And we'll buy exactly the same one. Go over here, or actually go over here. There we go. Bubble run far end, and then go to Grief on the Heights. Of course, this should be the B transport headquarters. There we go. Still waiting for a free path. I actually uh, started in, in the wrong station, so it has to loop around somewhere. Now, if I'm right, yeah, there are a lot of passengers here. It can take about half of those. It will not be a very profitable line because our headquarters doesn't uh, produce any passengers. They just take them. Oh, that's not something we want. It went out the wrong way. Put in some signals over here to prevent that in the future. Let's wait for a second for this train to come back. And now it should, yeah, it, now it leaves the right way. This really is a masterpiece. Well, anyway, thank you all for watching and I'll continue this series in the next episode. Bye bye.